Hello YouTube, so if you've been trying to SSH into your device after you jailbreak on iOS 6, then you've probably noticed that if you're on Windows, you'll probably have some issues with doing it from the CMD prompt. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can easily do it from uh, Windows. And for this video, we're going to be using an iPod Touch 4G that was jailbroken using the tutorial down in the description. If you haven't jailbroken your device on iOS 6 yet and you want to, just check the link down in the description. It has a full tutorial on how to do that in text and video. But we already jailbroke this iPod Touch 4G on iOS 6, and now we're going to be SSHing in to install Cydia. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings and find your connection. Once you do, hit the Disclosure disclosure button that will take you into the uh, info for that connection and you can see we have 10.0.1.86 as the IP address for our for our device then go on to uh, your Windows computer and you're gonna wanna go to the PuTTY download page that's what we're using to SSH in so this link will be down in the description it's on chiark.greenend.org.uk just check the link down in the description and uh, pick putty.exe for Windows on Intel x86 and once you've downloaded that you can go to wherever you downloaded it to and open it up if it asks you anything just hit run and now it's asking for you for your host name or IP address and that's where we're going to use the 10.0.1.86 so type that in 10.0.1.86 and hit open and the first time you do that, it'll pop up a little window asking for authorization. Then it'll say log in as, type root, R-O-O-T, hit enter, and then it'll ask for the password. The default password is A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine, hit enter, and then you will be SSH'd into your device. You can see there, if I zoom in for you, it says iPod root, then you're going to want to use the command that is in the tutorial, the jailbreak tutorial down in the description. So just click on the link down there if you want this. I'm just going to paste it in. Or I guess you can't. There you go. And then you run that and wait for the process to go through. So it'll print out some stuff on the screen and basically that's all you have to do. Um, the main issue is getting SSH into your device so once you do that then the rest is pretty straightforward. Um, so just use this tutorial instead of SSHing in via terminal on Mac but other than that the steps should all be the same so hope that worked for you. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.